Meanwhile, the Arctic blast, along with extreme wind chill, is raising a lot of concern for mid southerners that they don't things about they don't usually think about. We're talking about hypothermia when your body loses heat faster than it can produce heat. WREG's Alex Coleman tells us why being outside in these elements can be dangerous and deadly. The deep freeze of 2022 continues with its grip firmly on Memphis and the Mid-South. Jesse Finney believes he's prepared wearing a coat, scarf, cap and gloves. If it dries off and get a little sunshine, I may bungle up real well and uh, come out and fight the elements. But medical experts warn against trying to fight the elements when it's this cold because it increases the threat of what's called hypothermia. Definitely your biggest risk is hypothermia, which is a, a lowering of the uh, body's temperature. Um, and you know, that can cause significant injury. Hypothermia can be deadly. It's estimated in the United States there are about 1,500 deaths every year. Colin Hardwick is a nurse practitioner with Methodist Medical Group. Result of prolonged exposure to cold temperatures, you know, where the body is losing heat faster than it produces it, um, can lead to major issues like heart failure and even death in some cases. The CDC says adults showing symptoms of hypothermia will experience shivering, memory loss, slurred speech, and drowsiness. Babies with hypothermia will have very low energy and bright red cold skin. Those are signs of a serious medical condition and, and, you know, address that quickly. Get inside, get any wet clothes off. That's very important. Um, if your clothes are wet, get those off, put dry clothes on, get some warm blankets and, and start working to get that body temperature back up. And then if you are having any symptoms of hypothermia, you know, go to the nearest ER. About 50% of hypothermia cases are people age 65 and older. Medical specialists recommend if you're going to be outside, dress in layers, wear a heavy winter coat, gloves, and hat. Our skin is responsible for 90% of our total heat loss. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to keep that covered, especially when you're out in the elements. Um, and then 60% of our heat loss is radiative through our, our head. A winter weather tip that could save your life. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Something we normally don't have to think about around here. Well, doctors also recommend if you or a loved one experiences symptoms of hyperthermia, call 911 right away.